Hi besties, good morning, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to draft a palazzo pants and a basic block pants. I'm going to be drafting both of them on this pattern paper using two different markers. But before then, let me welcome you properly. To my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in. And to the new members, thank you, thank you so much. My name is Mola and I'm a fashion designer. And after this video, please, please, please do well to subscribe, like, share and turn on your post notification bell and if you have any questions kindly leave a comment i'll be more than available to answer all of your questions so we're going to be starting with the trouser block first so the first thing to do is to start with our uh, starting line which is also going to serve as our waistline you take half an inch So this half an inch is our starting line, which is also going to serve as our waistline. Okay, so the next thing to do now is to take our length measurement. So this is our waistline. The next line we'll be taking is our crouch length which is 11, 11.5. Then our knee length, knee length is 25. And then our full length is 44. Well, because this is an illustration purpose, I'm just going to make use of the whole pattern paper and this whole pattern paper is going to serve as our full length of this project and the full length we have here is 36 so let's take for instance our full length is 34 so 34 plus 2 inches that's 36 so this is our length measurement you take the same thing on the other side of the pattern paper to get a straight line so 11.5 35, 34, plus 2 inches. That 2 inches is the sewing allowance. So you mark your straight line. Okay, so that is that. This is our cross length, our knee length, and our full length. Then the next thing now to do is to take our round measurement. Then the first round measurement we'll be working with is the tie round. The tie round is um, the tie round we're working with is 29. So 29 divided by 2 is 14.5. So that 14.5, you're going to divide it by 2 again, which is 7.2. So that is what we are going to mark here. So just watch what I'm doing. This is 14.5. This is 14.5 here. So this 14.5 now, you're going to divide, divide it by 2. 14.5 divided by 2 is 7.2. So you mark 7.2 here. You're just trying to get a straight line here. So from here to here is 7.2, uh, 14.5. So half of 14.5 is 7.2. So this 7.2, you mark it here as well, as well as on the full length. 7.2. 7.2. Then you mark a straight line. So the next thing I want to do is to take our knee round. And our knee round, how do you get your knee round? You, you have to, for a pants trouser, for a pants, you have to measure your client to know how slim or how wide he, um, he or she wants the knee round to be. But if you're, okay, this is a, a female trouser, so you have to measure your client to know how wide or how slim she wants her trouser or her pants to be so you have to measure her knee round 
but for a skirt you just divide your or you just um, subtract six inches from your hip measurement that's how you get your knee round for skirt but for pants you have to measure your client to know how wide or how slim she wants her pants to be so the knee round we are working with for today is 22 so 22 divided by 2 that's 11 then 11 divided by 2 again that's 5.5 so the 5.5 you're going to place it here on this straight line this is 5.5 here so from here here to here So from here to here is 11 inches and 11 inches divided by 2 is 5.5 so here is 5.5 here is 5.5 so all together is 11 inches i hope you understand so the next measurement we're working with is the hem measurement the hem measurement and the hem measurement we're working with is 12 and um, 25 so 25 divided by 2 that is 12.5 12.5 divided by 2 again, that is 6.2. So you mark your 6.2 here. 6.2 on this straight line. Then so from here to here is going to be our 12.5. So this is 12.5 here, this is 14.5 here, this is 11 here, and this is 12.5 here. So you're going to connect your line together. So the next thing we are working with now is our waist measurement. And the waist measurement for, uh, uh, for this project is 39. So 39 divided by 4. So I want you to take note of something that all these measurements that we're working with, we've been working with, they are always divided by two. Your tie round divided by two, your knee round divided by two, your hem divided by two, or the waist round is always divided by four. So before you impute your waist round, you have to take one inch in, one inch in, so one inch so from the one inch that's when you now input your waist measurement and our waist is 39 39 divided by 4 is 9.7 you mark your 9.7 plus one inch sewing allowance so this trouser if, if you're in uh, Putting a dart, so it's, you're going to add an extra one inch allowance for that. But this one we're working with does not require a dart. So the next thing we're doing now is to come to your crouch length. So from this 14.5 um, on the crouch length, you go in by 2.5. You go in by 2.5 inches then you connect from this one inch sewing allowance to these two inches we are trying to get our curve for the trouser so you can now connect using your french curve So this is our call for the front trouser. Then the next thing now to do is to connect your lines together. Okay. Then you come here, you connect this, 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 and this together. So this is our 
front part of the trouser. This is how to draft a basic block trouser. Okay, so the next thing we are doing now is to draft the back part of the trouser. And how do we do that? I'm going to be using another pattern paper to draft this. I'm not going to cut this one out because I'm going to be showing you how to draft your palazzo using this pattern paper. So, what I'm going to do now is to trace what we have here we're going to trace it out leaving 1.5 inch up here we're going to be leaving extra um, space up here because the back part of the trouser is always higher by 1 inch to 1.5 inch than the front part of the trouser so we're going to be leaving extra space up here then we're going to be tracing out what we have. So this is Okay, so now that we have traced this front part of the trouser on the new pattern paper, I'm going to be showing you how to draft the back part of the pattern paper. pattern paper I'm going to be teaching you how to draft the back part of the pants and the back part of the pants is always bigger than the front part of the pants that's because the all the allowance we need to sew this pants is always at the back of the pants that's why it's always bigger so the next thing to do now is to go up by one inch from this crouch part you go up by one inch then you connect to this waist like so so you measure whatever you have here this place this is 11 you're going to measure it here on the back part of it the new line you just created 11 so this is your waist line for the back then the next thing now to do is to the size of the trouser you measure from the side of the trouser from the crouch length you move out by two inches on the knee length, you move out by two inches, and on the full length, you move out by two inches. Then you connect. You have to make it like You know where? You know what you want to make it like So this is the back part of the trouser. Then the next thing to do now is to get the curve for the back of the trouser and how we're we going to do that from here you go out by two inches or 2.5 let's go out by 2.5 inches or maybe two inches is fine 
then you connect this this and this together Then you take your French cove. You take your French cove and you connect. So this is how to get the back part of your trouser so that is all about the back of the trouser then if you're cutting your coat you cut like so you cut this way like this but if you want to input your dart if you want to input a dart on this pants you have to so what we have here is 11 so you divide 11 divided by 2, that is 5.5. .5. So this is where your dart is going to be. How to get your dart is this, your waist measurement divided by 2, that's 5.5. .5. This is 5.5 .5 here, then you go down by 5 inches. Then on the side, you go, you mark half inch on both sides. This is how you get a perfect start for the trouser. So like I said, this pants is not going to be having a dart. That's why we do not add allowance to the waist measurement. I'm just showing you how to input a dart on your pants if in case you want to put a dart on your pants if you want to put a dart on your pants that's going to be your waist divided by four you mark it plus one inch sewing allowance then plus one inch dart so that's how you're going to take the measurement for your waist then on the for the back part of the trouser 5.5 this is also 11, 5.5 in the middle. Then you mark your dart for the back and the dart for the back is only six inches long, six inches long. And the dart for the front is always five inches long. So that is that about how to draft a trouser block. So let's move over to how to that your palazzo pants okay so the next thing we'll be doing now is to the next project we're working with now is to teach you how to draft your palazzo pants and how do you do that it's almost the same thing as how to draft your basic block trousers just a little different and what's the difference the difference here is your tie round that you take that you you took here which is the tie round is 29 29 divided by 2 that is 14.5 so you mark your 14.5 here you mark your 14.5 here then you mark 14.5 here as well Then you mark 14.5 here as well. Then you connect your dots together. So it's, this is a straight palazzo. So palazzo is always straight. So this is how to draft a palazzo part. Then from here, From here, from your crouch length, you just 
connect straight. So this is your palazzo, it connects straight, it connects straight. Then on the waist, you're not, go you're not going to be taking one inch in on the waist. So for the waist, you you're going to be making use of the whole measurement here on the waist. So you connect straight to on the waist. This is your palazzo pants. So, there are two different kind of ways. For this one that I connected straight, this is when you want to put a band on your palazzo instead of a zipper. So, but if you want to put a zip on your pants instead of uh, an elastic, instead of an elastic, sorry, if you want to put an elastic on your pants, this is when this is coming in, this straight line. Is coming in you're going to be making use of this this straight line but if you're not adding an elastic to your pants if it is just a zipper you're going to be taking one inch in then from the one inch you input your waist measurement but if you are not um, taking if you're not using a zipper but you're using a band all you need to do is to measure from here after taking your 2.5 inch in, you measure from what you have from here to here, you connect it. Then you make use of this hole from here to here. So this is when this is what you're making use of if you're using an elastic on your pants. But if you're not using an elastic on your pants, just take one inch in. Then from the one inch, you measure your waist plus one inch allowance. This is when your zipper is coming in from here to here. But if you are using an elastic, it's from here to here. You're making use of everything. So that is the difference between a palazzo and a basic trouser block. So if you have any question, please feel free to you send to the video up ask to questions and then like I'll share and subscribe more than available and to don't answer to all leave of your comments if you have any questions and then if you're inputting your if you are inputting a band of course there's going to be a band on the trouser your band is always like two inches three inches bigger however you want it just take a straight line the paper take your band you measure if you are using a two inches band a two inches band that means you're going to be cutting a four you're going to be cutting a four inches band but if you're using a 1.5 inches band you're going to be cutting a three inches band that's the width of the trouser the width of the trouser is going to be three inches but if you're using a two inches band the width of the trouser is going to be four inches plus half inch sewing allowance that's five yes yeah, sorry it's going to be five inches you're going to be cutting if you're using a two inches band you're going to be cutting five inches if you're using a 1.5 inch band you're going to be cutting four inches, four inches width band, not three inches, four width. Then for the length of the band, for the length of the band, if your waist is 26, 26, that's for your waist, you're going to be adding extra six inches. That is 32, 32 inches. So you're going to be cutting the length of 32 inches if your waist is 39 39 plus 6 that is 45 so you're going to be cutting a length of 45 if your waist is 27 
27.6 whatever you get you cut that the length you cut in for the waistband basic block pants thank you for watching